Hello student, good morning everyone. So today this is the second consecutive class of organic chemistry and here we will discuss another important class of organic compound that is phenols and this is also very important chapter for that oxygen containing organic compound. So before going to what kind of reaction this so we will discuss first that classification of phenols. So first we will see what is exactly phenol is. Phenol is aromatic hydroxy compound. So if we replace one CH bond by OH group in benzene, we will get the phenol. Now these are classified by various substituents. When other substituents are there like if methyl group is there then this is known as methyl phenol. Similarly, if nitro group is there then it will be nitro phenol. If more than one hydroxy group is there then it will be dihydroxy phenol and it has some other name also. Suppose if it is ortho dihydroxy then it is known as catechol and if it is meta then it is resocinol. Similarly, if three hydroxy group is there then it is trihydroxy or it is also known as fluoroglucinol. So these are all various class of phenol compound. First we will see the various synthesis of this phenol compound. Haloadene or halobenzene if it is reacted with stronger base like NaOH with vigorous conditions like 350 degree centigrade and high pressure so it will give formation of phenol if you see this is normal it look like normal nucleophilic substitution but here actually the reaction pathway is different because in this case actually the chlorobenzene undergoes elimination reaction in presence of OH minus and it will form benzene intermediate we all know that benzene is very unstable intermediate. So immediately it will attack by water molecule and it will give proton transfer. So it will give the formation of phenol. Here if chlorine substrate is there and if we put some other electron withdrawing substituent then the probability of nucleophilic substitution increases. Here we, can, we see that that this reaction undergoes via benzene intermediate formation. But if we add other electron withdrawing substitute like nitro, then the probability of formation of nucleophilic substitution reaction is more. We can see some example. Let us suppose we will take 2,4 dinitro chlorobenzene. When it is reacted with sodium hydroxide, but we will see it will also give formation of phenol product that is 2,4 dinitrophenol. Now, what will be the mechanism? So, OH minus we know is a stronger base and it is also nucleophile, so it will add to that aromatic system and it will give formation of this intermediate. Now, this negative charge is highly delocalized through the ring and it will give this intermediate. So, now question is that what we have seen in previous case, in that case this intermediate should be possible but we can see the when this negative charge is formed due to presence of this nitro group, we know that nitro group is a strong electron withdrawing substituent. So, it will drag the electron density from the phenyl ring and it stabilizes this intermediate. That's why this substitution reaction occurs. Now we can see for getting the aromaticity back, it will give formation of phenol and Cl minus. So this is actually aromatic nucleophilic substitution reaction. So by by aromatic nucleophilic substitution reaction, we can also synthesize the phenol compound. Now next we will see from amine compound. We know this is aniline compound. Now when aniline is treated with 
NaNO2 and HCl. We all know that when NaNO2 is reacted with HCl, it will give formation of nitrous acid HNO2. Now this HNO2 will react with aniline and it will give formation of diazonium salt. This benzonium benzene diazonium salt. Now this benzene diazonium salt when heated with water this will give formation of phenol. So from started form amine we can synthesize this phenol compound. So this is also another very important organic reaction. Now next from cumin. What is cumin? So this is cumin compound. When this cumin compound is air oxidized. So in exam it will be written like this or it will be written like this. So what we will see when air oxidized it will form peroxide. So we can see when cumin is air exposed in presence of air uh, and light. So it will give function of peroxide. Now this peroxide undergo decomposition to give phenol compound and acetone. So this is also very important reaction from cumin to phenol. Now sometime exam, in exam this kind of question is asked that find the A, B and C and D. How we can solve this problem? So we know that benzene and the reagents are propyl chloride and anhydrous aluminum chloride. Anhydrous aluminum chloride. So this anhydrous aluminum chloride and alkyl halide is the reagent for fidel cup alkylation. So what will happen for fidel cup alkylation? Aluminum chloride. So it will give formation of alkyl carbocation and AlCl4 minus. Now we all know that carbocation always undergoes rearrangement due to getting more stability. Now we know this primary carbocation is relatively less stable than the secondary one. So it will give rearrangement reaction. So what will happen? One hydrogen will migrate to here and it will give formation of this secondary carbocation. So in the medium two type of substrates are there that is one propyl carbocation aluminum chloride and another is isopropyl carbocation aluminum chloride. So when these both are reacted with benzene what will happen? So it will give formation of propyl benzene and when benzene is reacted with the secondary carbocation that is so it will give the formation of cumin. So this is A and this is B and this is the major product. This is minor. Now next what will happen? This A is air oxidized. So same reaction but we have discussed earlier that is peroxide will form and this will give formation of phenol after decomposition. So these are all various synthesis of phenol compound. Now we will see the properties. So first we will discuss some various physical properties. So physical properties we all know that phenol is hydroxy compound. So as it is hydroxy compound so it has a tendency to form hydrogen bond. What we have seen in alcohol case. In alcohol we have seen this OH bond will form hydrogen bond with another OH group. So we know this hydrogen bond is not exactly real bond but it is its energy is relatively higher than other short interaction like some pi pi interaction, anion pi interaction, etc. Due to this reason this presence of hydrogen bond it will give the extra molecular interaction in the system and due to this reason the boiling point of phenol is higher. So we know that oxygen is electron withdrawing element. So it drag the electron from OH bond and it will gain that hydrogen is relatively 
electron deficient so it will get del plus and oxygen will get del minus so what we will see this hydrogen will be get some electron density from another oxygen or phenol and this hydrogen will get electron density from another oxygen or another phenol and like this hydrogen bonding will be formed and due to this hydrogen bonding that phenol is liquid in nature and another thing that the boiling point of phenol is higher than other compound which has same molecular weight. Now this is the same reason this phenol is soluble in water. So we know that water also very good solvent which forms stronger hydrogen bond and in presence of water we can see this will form hydrogen bond. So we can see that in water medium phenol forms hydrogen bonding and this facilitates the phenol the higher solubility of phenol in water. Now next we will discuss the chemical properties. So first we will discuss that acidic nature of phenol. So during alcohol discussion we already discussed that the acidity of any substrate depends on the stability of the any component the stability of the conjugate base of any component. Now for phenol what do we will see? So we can see formation of phenoxide ion and H plus. Now this phenoxide ion is highly delocalized through the ring and it will give the various resonating structure that is so we can see this the electron density around oxygen is dispersed through the ring system and we all know that if the charge is dispersed then the system gets extra stability. So we can see this phenoxide is more stable than what we have seen earlier case that is alkoxide. So we can immediately tell that this phenol is stronger acid than alcohol. Now if we put some other electron withdrawing substituent like nitro group. So what will happen? It will give this and this negative charge will delocalize de through the ring system. So it will give this resonating structure and followed by this. When negative charge remain here, we can see that nitro group is strong electron withdrawing agent. So what will happen? Nitro group will take the electron density to its own and it will give another resonating structure. So what we have seen in earlier case, two or three resonating structure. In this case, more resonating structure will be possible. So this is another resonating structure which gives that this nitrophenol is more giving more stable conjugate base than phenol. So immediately we can tell that this nitrophenol is stronger acid than phenol. Now if we put another nitro group, what we will see? It will get extra stability of the negative charge. Now this trinitrophenol, this is well known as picric acid. This picric acid acidity is almost like mineral acid. So it is its pK around 1 or below 1. So we can see that due to presence of 3 nitro group the O- that is phenoxide ion the electron density highly delocalized through the ring as well as the nitro group. So this is very strong acid. Now some acid base reaction. So if it is reacted with NaOH it will give formation of sodium phenoxide plus water. Similarly if it is reacted with acetyl chloride during ester 
formation reaction in alcohol what we have seen that alcohol is reacted with acetyl chloride it will give formation of ester similarly here also formation of ester will be occur so this is the ester of benzene now if phenol is reacted with zinc then what will happen we will see the reduction of phenol to benzene what we have seen that this phenol will be reduced by zinc to form that benzene now next what we are discussing that acidity of phenol so acidity of phenol what we have seen that is phenol is reacted with NaOH it will give sodium phenoxide plus water now this sodium phenoxide if it is reacted with any alkyl halide so what will form this is known as Williamson ether synthesis very well known reaction formation of phenyl ethyl ether the question is if we can see that uh, in exam sometime it is asked that what will be the favorable reaction for Williamson ether synthesis reaction and substrates are O minus Na plus CSCH2 beer or ethoxide, sodium ethoxide and bromobenzene. So the answer will be this one because this is normal substitution reaction that is phenoxide ion will replace the bromide and it will form the phenyl ethyl ether. Whereas the in this case that ethoxide will react with that bromobenzene and this will give formation of any kind of product like if other solvent is there then solvent added product also form because due to presence of this strong base it will form benzene intermediate and we know that benzene is very reactive intermediate and due to this reason it will attack by any kind of nucleophile if some other nucleophilic solvent also there that might also react with that benzene and it will give some byproduct. So always choose this option. Now next if we put this phenoxide and if we react this with carbon dioxide with high pressure and high temperature. So what will happen? It will give formation of salicylic acid. And this reaction is very well known as Kolbe Smith reaction or Kolbe reaction. So, we will see that how this reaction undergoes. So, so previously, what we have written that 520, 573 Kelvin, but little correction that it will be 125 degree centigrade and 6 atm pressure carbon dioxide. So, what we have seen earlier case that is we have written in 573 Kelvin, but little correction that is it will be 125 degree centigrade and high pressure that is 6 atmospheric pressure. So, we can write carbon dioxide like this and mention that pressure and temperature 125 degree centigrade and 6 atm pressure. So, what will happen? This kind of electrophilic substitution reaction will occur. Now, we know that this undergo ketone ional tautomerism so it will give formation of salicylic acid salicylate which is further acidified and it will give formation of salicylic acid so this is a very important reaction in class 12 organic chemistry this is coal based with reaction now Another important reaction that is from the salicylic acid, but we can see that.
that in salicylic acid which group is there so and if we react with acetic anhydride react with this with acetic anhydride so what we will see here if we see this carboxylic acid is there and one phenolic OH is there so we know that phenolic OH is little bit more basic than carboxylic acid group so this will react with this anhydride and it will give formation of ester and this is very well known as aspirin analgesic compound now if this kind of reaction is given if, it, if in exam suppose this kind of question is given that what will happen if we react with phenol in presence of carbon in, in presence of sodium hydroxide followed by carbon dioxide and then it will be acidified so it will give A and when A is react with acetic anhydride it will give B suppose it is it will it may be given or it may might not be given that B is an analgesic compound if this information is not also given then also immediately we can solve this problem so what will happen we already discussed that when phenol is reacted with sodium hydroxide it will give phenoxide which is further reacted with carbon dioxide it will give salicylate then it will be acidified to give salicylic acid so A is salicylic acid now when A is reacted with acetic anhydride B will form and B is the ester and carboxylic acid and it is known as aspirin so this kind of question may be asked during the exam now next is alkaline phenol alkaline means basic condition so alkaline phenol is reacted with chloroform now here we have to remember that here chloroform is not a solvent here chloroform is reagent so what will happen this chloroform will react it with phenol and it will give formation of salicylaldehyde or orthohydroxybenzaldehyde so previous case we have seen salicylic acid here we can see salicylaldehyde so this reaction is very well known as Riemann Tippmann reaction so we will see the mechanism of Riemann Tippmann reaction now what we will see when chloroform is reacted with NaOH so we know that chloroform this hydrogen is acidic so it will take proton and it will give formation of CCl3 minus plus ok now this CCl3 after removal of Cl minus it will give formation of CCl2 carbene this is the carbene intermediate plus NaCl plus H2O so this is the complete reaction I have shown intermediate this CCl3 minus but this actually is the complete reaction where this carbene intermediate is formed now this carbene intermediate will react with phenol we know this carbene is highly electron deficient because it is less than the octet so it will highly reactive and we know that chlorine is there so chlorine also drag the electron density from the carbon so this carbon center is very reactive intermediate now what you see phenoxide is there so phenoxide it will give electrophilic addition this electrophilic addition will give this intermediate compound so immediate proton 
abstraction will occur and it will give formation of CHCl. Now, OH minus is there, so it will give the hydrolysis. We all know that geminal dihydroxy compounds are very unstable, so it will give immediately formation of aldehyde. So, for that, if we add acid, so it will give formation of salicylaldehyde. So, what we have seen that from starting from that phenoxide, it will react with carbon and this will give the this intermediate and this intermediate will further take the proton from the adjacent CH bond and it will form this. Now, this CHCl2 will hydrolyze in presence of alkali and it will give dihydroxy, geminal dihydroxy compound. So, this geminal dihydroxy compound after removal of water, it will give formation of this phenoxide with aldehyde. When it is protonated, it will give the salicylaldehyde. So, this is very important reaction. And we all know this is Reimer-Timmen reaction. This is the mechanism of Reimer-Timmen reaction. Now, the question is that if we put tetrachloromethane instead of chloroform, what will happen? Question is that if we do the same reaction, that is phenoxide ion, it is reacted with tetrachloromethane methane or carbon tetrachloride. So, carbon tetrachloride. So, here we can see that in previous case for chloroform we see that chloroform has acidic proton, but here no acidic proton is there. So, that carbon formation reaction is not occur, but here what will happen? Some reaction will occur that will give different product. So, this is carbon tetrachloride. So, it will give this kind of nucleophilic substitution reaction. So, nucleophilic substitution reaction, it will give this trichloro compound will be formed. So, you all know that these are very unstable compound and it will undergo keto inert automatism and it will get back the aromaticity. Now, this CCl3 will hydrolyze in presence of OH minus. 3 OH minus will hydrolyze the CCl3 and will get geminal triol, gem triol. So, this gem triol immediately water will be eliminated. We know this geminal triol is very unstable and it will give formation of salicylic acid. So, it is also a Reimer-Tibbon reaction of formation of salicylic acid. So, we have seen two different synthetic pathway of salicylic acid that is one is Colby-Smith and another is Reimer-Timmen reaction. For Colby-Smith reaction, phenoxide is reacted with carbon dioxide to give, phenoxide is reacted with carbon dioxide to give the salicylate which is further acidified to give the salicylic acid whereas for Reimer-Timmer reaction, the reaction phenoxide is reacted with carbon tetrachloride and it will give formation of salicylic acid. This is Reimer-Timmen reaction. Now, next is Gatterman reaction. In this reaction, what will happen? Phenol is reacted with hydrogen cyanide and HCl in presence of anhydrous zinc chloride, it will give formation of para hydroxy benzaldehyde. So, this reaction is well known as Gatterman reaction. Now, let us suppose this is given disocinol. So, what will happen? Dihydroxy benzaldehyde. Now, another reaction is there that is known as halogenesis. And most likely, we will discuss about bromination. So, it is also a detection of phenol. Now, 
What is the reaction? When phenol is reacted with bromine water, it will give formation of tribromophenol. So this tribromophenol form white precipitate and immediately the solution becomes turbid. So this is also a confirmative test of phenol that is if we treat this phenol with bromine water it will give formation of tribromophenol. This is also electrophilic substitution reaction. Now if we change the solvent from water to some non-polar solvent the reaction occurs in different way and it will give monobromo product. What we have seen in polar protic solvent like water we see the tribromination occur but if we use carbon disulfide as solvent which is a non-polar solvent so we will see that formation of monobromo product and it will give mixture of orthobromophenol and parabromophenol. So what we have seen that carbon disulfide is non-polar solvent which disfavor the ionization of bromine as well as the ionization of phenol. We have seen that if phenol ionizes to phenoxide it is more makes the benzene more reactive and if bromine ionizes then it gives more electrophile. So in water it gives tribromophenol but in carbon disulfide it gives only monobromophenol. Now from here we will discuss some question answer. So this will help what we have understood till now. So now the first question we will discuss here that is acidic nature of phenol. So if you see almost every year this kind of question is asked that arrange the compound according to their acidity. So always remember that one thing we have to we have to keep in our mind that when we arrange any substrate according to their, to their acidity we have to think about the stability of the conjugate base. Now similarly what we have seen here here we have four different set of compound one is benzyl alcohol second is phenol then is hexanol and final is 4 chlorophenol. Now if we see the acidity order, so what we will see that what conjugate base will be formed. So from A we will get this alkoxide, then B phenoxide, C and finally this chlorophenol. Now of this four different compound which one is most acidic? What we will see that this is giving this alkoxide R. Though this alkoxide R is slightly this negative charge will be dispersed by the phenyl group but almost that the negative charge will localize on oxide. Whereas the for B this oxide this negative charge will be highly delocalized through the phenyl ring and it will be more stable than this one means B is more stable than A. Similarly, we can see for that C1 this conjugate base is alkoxide and here no such stability occur. So C is more unstable than B A, sorry A and is more unstable than B. Now for D1 what we can see sorry it will give this one. Now for this this negative charge will be delocalized through the ring and Cl has negative inductive effect. So it will reduce the electron density in the phenyl ring. So it will give extra stability to the system. So if we compare the acidity of B and D, so we will see that D is the more acidic than B. So of this four compound, we will see that D is the right answer. So D is most acidic compound. Now next question, we can see 
that is choose the compound which is more acidic than phenol so this is also similar type of question so what we will see that the options are given here that is orthonitrophenol b ethanol then c orthomethyl phenol and d orthomethoxy phenol so if we draw the structure so what do we see now so what we can see these are the drawn structure of whatever compound is given here in the problem now if we write the conjugate base so for conjugate base we will get now here we can see the here this orthonitrophenol is giving this phenoxide and whereas the ethanol is giving ethoxide and the orthomethyl phenol is giving this phenoxide and this orthomethoxy is giving this phenoxide now we know that methyl and methoxy has plus i effect whereas in this case we can see if we see that stability order always we see that in this case no such stability is there which is that negative charge will be delocalized to the ring so first this one is the most basic one and unstable one so this ethanol is least basic one in the given problem so we are not considering b1 now of this a c d what we will see that of this c and d methyl and ome is plus i group means this is pushing electron to the ring so as it is pushing electron to the ring so it is more destabilize the phenoxide ion because we already discussed that if negative charge is dispersed to the ring so that the stability of the conjugate base is more now as this methyl and ome are electron pushing to that ring system so this are most destabilizer considering other this two group this nitro group is electron withdrawing group so this reduces the electron density of the ring and due to this reason this negative charge is more dispersed to the system so this is the most as a stable one and accordingly this is more acidic and if we consider the phenol compare this three thing with phenol so what we will see that this is uh, more basic than phenol that means is a less acidic than phenol and this is this this a compound is more acidic then phenol so a is the right answer orthonitrophenol now next problem a conversion reaction that is phenol here first it is reacted with naoh then carbon dioxide followed by acidification and it is giving x and in this side phenol is reacted with chloroform with aqueous sodium hydroxide and followed by acidified so it is giving y now the options are given here x equal to this and y equal to this so these are the options now we have to find out that which is x and which is y so if we see the reaction what we can see this this one rea this reaction is known as colby smith reaction and we all know that already is discussed that is col colby smith reaction is giving formation of salicylic acid so x is salicylic acid and this reaction is riemann thieme reaction and riemann thieme reaction is giving salicylaldehyde so y is salicylaldehyde so if you see the options which one is the correct so d is the correct one so d is the right one next problem how do we can see that another reaction that is benzene which is reacted with propyl chloride in presence of aluminum chloride which is giving p and which is further oxidized 
in presence of heat and followed by acidification which is giving q plus phenol so what we can see this is this preparation of phenol now we have to identify p and q so what options are given these are the options are given here so already during the lining session what we have discussed that when propyl chloride which reacted with aluminum chloride it is giving two kind of product and, and one is normal propyl benzene and another is isopropyl benzene and that isopropyl benzene is more stable so isopropyl benzene is formed in major so that isopropyl benzene is known as cumin and what is cumin that is this one when this is oxidized means in presence of O2 it will give peroxide and after decomposition it is giving phenol and acetone so this is the P and this is the Q so which option is correct